Students, welcome to this video lecture number 24 for BBA program for subject consumer behavior for fifth semester BBA for Bangalore North University. So this is concept called as household life cycles that is under environmental determinants of consumer behavior. So in previous class, that is uh, video lecture number 23, we have discussed about family influences. So we learned about what is family. There are two or more people uh, with blood relations or marriage living together in a common uh, platform, common room or common house is called as families. So how these families influences on the buying behavior of a goods or services that is we learned in detail. And the present uh, video lecture, the objective of learning is we will be able to explain the household life cycle. And the outcome of the session is to explain the household life cycle. Let us understand the meaning of uh, this family, FLC, family life cycle. So family life cycle refers to the several phases where people go through in their lives. That is the process of family formation and dissolution from the starting point of how they are going to form the family and how they are going to dissolve their family. All these process, various stages constitute a FLC family life cycle, like individual life cycle, how a people is going to burn and how he is going to death. So different stages that he is going to come across that like that only family life cycle, even from formation to dissolution, what are the various phases or stages that they perform, he is called it as family life cycle. So each life cycle will differ from earlier stages in terms of family setup or structure. So this family setup or structure that depends upon that differs from one family to another family and the financial status and requirements. Obviously the financial status of the members of the family and what are their requirements is differ from one family to another family structure and products or, or services need and preferences. Obviously the needs and preferences of the individuals that constituted family is differ from one person to another person and consumption pattern buying behavior, the purchasing behavior and as well as consumption pattern is going to differ from one person to another person of the family members, which compared to other family members. And Patrick E. Murphy and Williams S. Staples in 1979 had suggested about modern family life cycle categories such as younger or middle-aged or divorced couples and other married couples with or without children. An understanding of the family life cycle will help marketers to gauge the changes occurring in the individual consumption pattern over their lifetime. So the importance of studying, understanding the family life, uh, family life cycle will help the marketers to understand whatever the changes that is occurred in the individual consumption pattern, what are the changes that <laughs> have happened during the consumption pattern over the lifetime of an individual. So, according to this, a family life cycle can be studied under various heads. That is, usually we come across that traditionally, these are the stages where the family cycle, family life cycle was studied. First one is young single, singles. What is young, young singles? Young singles is nothing but single people under the age of 35 and their incomes are low since they are starting a career under the middle age that is 35. But they have a few financial burdens and high level of discretionary income or comes under young singles. And another type we have that is newly married. So newly married couples without children. So they have recently married, newly married and uh, having no children and high level of discretionary income because the wife is usually working. Since in this stage, wife is usually working, their discretionary income have their purchasing power is more. And another system we have that is full nest one. Married couples with youngest child under the age of six comes under this full nest one. 
and the greater squeeze on income because of increased expenses for child care. In order to look after the child care, they are going to make more expenses for taking the care of child since it is it belongs to under the age of six. And under the system, we have full nest two. Under this, these are the situations where married couples with children from age of six to 12 and better financial position since parents' income is rising. Since parents' income is rising, their financial position is better as compared in previous stages. And most children are latchkey kids because both parents are working. Both parents in the family are working. Their financial position is better as compared to previous stages. And another system we have that is full nest three. Married couples with teenage children living at home. These are the situation where married couples with teenage children living at home and financial families, uh, family's financial position continues to improve and some children work at part time and increasing educational cost due to increasing education cost along with their family members, even children's work at part time to compensate the educational cost of education. And another system we have is called as empty nest one. Under this empty nest one, children have a left home and are not dependent on parental support. Under this situation where children have left home and they are not dependent on their parents' income. So independently they are working under outside and even they usually uh, they will not part of the family and parents are still working and reduced expenses result in greatest level of savings and highest discretionary income. Due to this, they may save some of the income and it reduces the expenses and they have the discretionary power over their income to purchase the goods or services. Obviously, it have a great impact on purchasing behavior of the family. And empty nest too. Under this, household head has retired. Under main source of income, those who are earning a member of the family is not going to get retired. And so couples experience a sharp drop in the income. Since the retirement of the main head, the income of income of the family will going to get reduced or it may get dropped. And couples lays on a fixed income from retirement plans. They are depend usually be depending upon their retirement plans out of their uh, income. And another system we have solitary survivor. So under the system, widow or widower with lower income and increasing medical needs. In this situation where widow or widower, widower with lower income because they don't have independence, their income is low and even they have to concentrate on medical needs. So these are the various traditional family life cycle we come across. And another system we have this sequence in non-traditional household life cycle. That is sequence number one. It is given in the various sequence. And in sequence one, we come across young married couples with children. So just now they are married and with children. This may come, we come across in sequence one. And even we come across young divorced parents and single parent with older children and older and unmarried. So these are situation where we come across in sequence one. And in case of sequence two, young divorced couple without children. So just they have married and they have get divorced without children. And middle-aged married couple without children. Sometimes we may we come across the middle-aged married couples even without children also. And older married couple without children. Even sometimes they have the older married couples with or without children. And another system we have sequence we have come across young married couple with children. Just married and they have the children. And mid middle-aged divorced parents. This situation is also we come across. And middle-aged married parent with the children and step children. And in case of sequence four, young unmarried couple without 
children also will may come across and middle aged married couples without children also and older married couple without children and widow so these are the various sequences four sequences we come across in case of uh, non traditional household life cycles so these are the various non traditional household life cycles and these are the various traditional family life cycles these are the two family life cycles we may come across and in order to understand flc that is family life cycles uh, here five mcqs i have been given so that we can understand better way about the family life cycle the first question is family life cycle is most typically based on income geographical location marital status and age of children and occupation so income geographical location occupation this is a, these are not at all connected with family life cycle so family life cycle is purely connected with marital status and age of children and the hence the answer is c which of the following products is least likely to be segmented according to the stages in the flc that is family life cycle single family homes old automobiles european vacation diet coke so which of the following product is least likely to be segmented according to stages in the cycle so according to family life cycle these are the least importance that we are going to give that is diet coke so the answer is diet coke a marketer that targets the customer based on the marital status and the presence and the age children is using a marketer that targets the customer based on marital status and the presence and age of children is using behavioristic segmentation lifestyle variable hypographic variable family life cycle so it is purely that is marital status and the presence age of children where we are going to use the concept family flc that is family life cycle hence the answer is family life cycle occupation family size and family life cycles are all dash variables for segmenting consumer market behavioristic variable demographic variable geographic variable or usage variable hence the answer is demographic variable where in case of demographic variable we are going to classify the markets into a occupation family size and family life cycles so therefore the answer is demographic variable for segmenting the consumer market based on occupation family size and flc that is family life cycle and finally we have children have left home and are not dependent on parental support is called as, as i discussed in a the traditional family life cycle there are various traditional family life cycle we come across that is young singles newly married full nest one full nest two full nest three empty nest one empty nest two and solitary solitary survivor so here the question i asked is children have left the home and are not dependent on parental support is called empty nest one so therefore in case of empty nest one children have left home they are not dependent on parental support and parents are still working reduced expenses result in a great level of savings and highest discretionary income therefore the answer is c that is empty nest one and these are the references have taken to collect the data or family life cycles so how these family life cycles and what are the traditional family life cycles and the non traditional family life cycles and how it is impacted on consumer behavior so thank you for watching this video thank you